fight, a duel, that no two others could fight, against the ticking of the clock. This is between Corvo and me. I've waited for this. Let's see if the Outsider will save your life, or mine. Why are you fighting? Are the men who poisoned you and left you to die? Are you dead, Empress? Go on. Strike as if you mean it. You know I can do oh. Fool! We're of the same breed, you and I. We fight for others. You think I'm your enemy? Get out. I have one more surprise for you. I asked for my life. When I killed your empress and took her daughter, something broke inside me. Now I see the design on the back of your hand, the mark of the outsider himself. And I remember all I've done. The years of waiting for the right moment to step forward from an alley and drive a knife between the ribs of some noble. All the money exchanging hands from one rich bastard or another. Killing for one of them one year, then being paid to kill him in return the next. I remember bending at the shrines, listening as the outsider whispered that I was going to change things, that I was somehow important. It felt good. It made me believe I was powerful. But what have I accomplished? More than you have. Or much less. Now I want nothing but to leave this city and fade from the memory of those who reside here. I've had enough killing, so my life is in your hands. Make your choice. In the schoolyard, the other children would marvel at his quick hands. One day, a man came for young Dao and led him away. No. There is no turning back from the path he has chosen. Pay the assassin, doubt. The last thing the Empress felt was his blade. His hands do violence, but there is a different dream in his heart. Why have you brought me here? Am I meant to forgive this man for what he did? In the schoolyard, the other children would marvel at his quick hands. One day, a man came for young Dao and led him away. No, there is no turning back from the And you choose mercy. Extraordinary.
What have you done, done to me? They butchered the deep ones here. here. I can't believe they managed to steal the other enchanted flesh. I must be... be in a basement. There's no hospital if I told you that. And Think they round people up because there's a cure? Only after there's a long city guards. day of work will he return to his home and family. He always eats very well. People. Ah, his wife and child they did. Thin. They protect the healthy people from people like us, the sick ones. I'm not uh, that bad. Some people pull through, right? <coughs> Don't they? One in a thousand. Ten thousand, probably. Any chance, I'll take. When, when I get out of there <coughs> and get better. I'm going to do right this time. Uh, a fresh start. This time. Uh, uh. Goodbye, my boy. Strange. You don't look ill. You're not a victim, not a guard. A spirit from the void, maybe. Another wagon comes every few minutes. How many do you think have died? They say a third of the city. I wouldn't have believed it. But I saw the mound of corpses myself. They dropped us in it. I don't blame them. I know why they do it. But I only wanted to die at home. Plague wagon's running every couple of minutes now. We just need to get on top of it and ride out.
are you? Are you some new kind of guard? What? Small boy? Can't be. Doctor, maybe? Uh, just kidding. Assassin, maybe. Passing through, huh? Hoping to catch a ride on the plague wagon. A few come through here trying. And they fall and break their necks. But that won't stop you. You're almost there. It's pretty easy to get to the rooftops from here. You'll see the way. She, she hides her hands. hands. They what are do you want, Scar, from the wash? To rob me? 